Hi, this is the part two of the currency converter app. I'm very sure that you're going to enjoy this. Now let's get started. Now in the previous video, we created this currency converter app and then this is what we came up with. Hello everyone. Welcome to Flourish Currency Converter. This app will convert from Naira to either dollars, pounds, or Canadian dollars. To convert from Naira to dollars, click the dollar sign. To convert from Naira to pounds, click the pound sign. To convert from Naira to Canadian dollars, click the CS sign. All right, now that is where we stopped in the first video. And um, in this second video, I want the sign to actually appear, you know, around maybe probably the dollar sign appeared right here, uh, the pound sign appear right there, and then maybe probably uh, the CS sign appear right there. So how do we do that? Now to do that, you need to first download those image as a sprite. Now, how do we download that? So you go to Google, and then we we want to download. So I want to first download dollars sign. Um, you need to first download dollar sign. Oh, all right. So let's click on images. I will should be able to get one. All right. So I can have I can actually pick on any one of them right here. So I'm going to pick anyone that has a white background, back, background, or probably anyone that has. Let me see. Anyone that actually go with all of this. So I think this is better. License is okay. I don't need to pick that. This is okay. Let's pick anyone that is not. Okay, I think I'll pick this. Dollar sign. So I'm just going to download it and click on save as image and I'm going to call it what dollars I'm going to save it in my desktop dollars now that's the first one I'll go again to download the pound sign pound sign now I'll do the same thing all right so we have a lot of cool pounds right here all right so I'm going to go with this I think I like this So I'm going to save us and I'll click on um, pounds and I save. And then the next one would be what? Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars. Sign. Now when I check on that, all right, so we have some, I actually don't know which one is Canadian dollar, but I know uh, we want to use a CS sign. Okay, so let's use a CS sign. I can see a CS sign right here, but I can also see another one. But well, let's scroll down. So we're looking for Canadian dollars. Okay, I think this is better. All right, so this is better. So, no, I don't want to use that. I don't know. I am quite selective. So let me just pick one, and then we continue with the tutorial. Finding out to see the Canadian dollar. Finding out to see the Canadian dollar. All right, let me just pick the one we saw at the top, which is this one. No, no. That one is licensed. I can't use that one. I see so very hard. Okay. Um, let me see. Licensable. 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 All right. We're going to use this. All right. Save us. And um, I'm going to call it what? Canadian dollars. And then you see. Now we've been able to download our um, images. Now it's time for us to import the images on our project. So to do that, we're going to import them as, uh, we're going to import the images as a sprite. So we go to 
upload sprites and um, we select desktop and then we select all files then we scroll down to have dollar sign first so that's a dollar sign and then we have right there but you don't have to be scared it's too big i know just leave it like that i will we're going to use programming to make it small just leave it like that okay and then we go again upload and um i pick the pound sign also that's also big yes there's, there's no need to be afraid and then we upload again and then the csi Ta-da! we have it like that now we have all the signs but they appear to be too big now the first thing we need to do is we can come to costume so you know try and you know add one or two things to it um that is if you want to add one or two things to it all right so uh, i don't have any challenge with this i don't have any issues with this um so i'll just leave it this way all right now the next thing for us to do is to go back to code and then we want to reduce the size this is too big now to reduce the size you go to uh for let's first check for dollars we go to when flag is clicked now when flag is clicked we want just we want to reduce the size so you go to looks and scroll down to set size now we're going to set size to what 50 percent yeah that's it and then press enter now we can do the same for pounds and canadian dollar it's easy just drag the code and then move it to pounds can you see it's shaking showing that we are about to drop it right there just drop it so that it has been duplicated right there can you see that so let's do the same for cs also uh oh all right so we can't do that because of so we can just click on it and then do the same thing when flag is clicked and we want to change the size to 50 percent all right now let's check it out so now let's see if i click on my flag now we should go back to hello everyone 50 percent welcome to flourish now that's it but now we want to arrange you could even make it smaller it depends on you you could make it smaller you could you know bring all the dollar sign right there and then bring this guy right there so to do that uh we want everything to be right here you understand and then we want it to be a bit smaller and then we want um our sprite right there like this now how do you know the position of this sprite you have to move it to this position and then go to motion to get the go to now this is the go to this is the position this sprite is so you just add it to that right there like that and then so when we click on that hello everyone it remains in that position now we want to do the same for dollars but before that let's reduce it to 40 percent i still want it a bit smaller all right so let's reduce also that one the pound to 40 percent and then let's reduce the canadian dollar also to 40 percent all right now so when i click on my flag now hello everyone. yes i think i like it that way so we could do dollars pounds and um cs dollars pounds and um cs something like that all right something like that it depends on you you could actually decide to you know do it like this that's another way all right so that's another way of doing it yes all right so now <clears throat> now that's the first thing we've done hello everyone now the next thing is um we don't want this to appear first we want it to be that um when i click on the flag hello everyone i want it to disappear welcome to floor and then uh after doing that after speaking after it has gotten to this 
level it can now appear now to do that to do that we need to go back to our code yeah let's just ensure that we have all of this right here now let's check our code again one more time before we continue hello everyone welcome to flourish currency converter this app will convert from naira to either dollars pounds or canadian dollars to convert from naira to dollars click the dollar sign to convert from naira to pounds click the pound sign to convert from naira to canadian dollars click the cs sign all right so to achieve that there are many ways we can do that uh we can actually time we can actually time it to be that okay um looking at what we have right here the sprite is speaking for many seconds you have to calculate all of the seconds together we have two plus three that's five five plus five ten ten plus four fourteen fourteen plus five nineteen nineteen plus five that's twenty four so that means all of these sprites needs to wait for 24 25 seconds before they appear now how do we do that you click on the dollar sign and then the first thing you want to do is to hide it now you scroll down to hide you hide it now you hide it now after clicking on hide you now tell it to wait for 25 seconds and after waiting for 25 seconds you tell it to show again now this way um our 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 sprites can actually wait now we we'll do the same thing for this you hide it you tell it to wait for 25 seconds 25 seconds and then you show it Now we do the same thing for CSI. You hide it. You tell it to wait for 25 seconds. And then you show it. Go back to looks. And then you show it. Now this would actually make our dollar sign, our pound sign, disappear and appear after, um, after the sprite finishes introducing the... Uh, the app so now let's check it now one more time so when i click on the flag now hello everyone you see, it goes off welcome to flourish currency converter this app will convert from naira to either dollars pounds or canadian dollars to convert from naira to dollars click the dollar sign to convert from naira to pounds click the pound sign to convert from naira to canadian dollars click the cs sign you see that now so timely so that is what we're going to achieve for this class in the next class we are going to look at um how to convert so we want it to be that when i click on the dollar sign it gives me instruction on how to convert when i click on the pound sign it gives me instruction how to convert from naira to pounds and then when i click on the cs sign also it gives me the instruction on how to convert from naira to Canadian dollars. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope um, you understand all of these concepts. In the next class, I'm going to show you how to do that. Stay blessed, keep flourishing, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below.